Hello everyone and welcome back to Orange Studios. I wish you guys a happy new year. And guess what? Vows Day is just around the corner. We're in the second week of January. And so Vows Day is probably about a month away. But we want to get ready before Vows Day. So in the coming week, I'm going to drop a series of Vows Day flyers. And I'll make them easily and readily available to all of us. So this is a template um, I have developed and we'll be breaking down this particular one. Bear in mind, the PSD file will be available in the description. Just hope you have fun doing some love things in the air. Alright, so we begin by creating a 1080p by 1080p canvas size. Okay, so these are the elements we are going to be using for this tutorial and other tutorials. So I'll make all of this available and you have them. So first of all, I'm going to drop this image down onto our canvas area. Drop it here. Um, probably the I'll flip it. I'll make this side come over there. So edit, transform, and then horizontal transform. I'll, I'll prefer this way. So now we are going to reduce the opacity for this and mask out some portion of it. So let's reduce and step it down a little. Right. So it falls into this right and then we reduce opacity so it falls in there and then apply a layer mask just like this activate the brush tool by pressing the key b b for balloon and then use the square brackets open or square uh, close square brackets to uh, increase the brush size and then fade it so we are going to temper with the opacity up here Let's adjust the opacity up here. Okay, and then feed it in just a little bit more. Like this, uh, we are going to increase the size of the whole thing. All right, so we have it this way. Perfect. Now it's Vows Day, so we're going to have some hats in there. It's quite an easy tutorial. I hope I can make this in five minutes. So let's drop this now here. Right, so we are going to drop this here. So already it's looking like Vows Day. Okay, so now let's drop in the next element, which is going to be this one. This particular one, we drop it in here. Perfect. We're going to take it above this layer. Let's position it well. Right, and then change the blend mode for this. You see, there's a black background. We want to take out the black, so we are going to move to blend mode normal normal to linear dodge like this then we have a black picked out in time so we can reduce it just a little right. i don't like how it's, it's it looks bulky or spread out this way so i'm going to squeeze it just a little bit so control d to bring out the transform hold on shift and then squeeze a little so I want it to look a bit more narrowed, like this. Alright, so we can just pull along and see how we put in the text. So with this particular one, we use the font called Robertson Alternative. And with this one, we use Abriel Batface. Alright, so we are going to zoom in. I want to kind of change this font color. Stands out a little bit more. So let's try and see if we can pick a color here. Okay, this is cool. Increase the, make it a bit more lighter like this. All right. So we'll double click on the sides here. Let's add some drop down shadow to it. So click on this. The distance is too much, so we're going to reduce the distance. Perfect. Use the passages a little bit. And the size just a little bit more so we can take down the opacity so, okay this is good all right so this is good this is okay all right so let's add the other ones
Okay, so I'm trying to add some gradients to the text here. So I'm going to add a red gradient. I don't want it to look so plain. So gradient overlay. I'm going to go for something like this. Alright. Um yep. And let's see how the gradient is displayed. Click somewhere in the artwork once you have um, this gradient thing activated or checked and you just click and drag so you can have if you pay attention and do let me zoom in so we can have a close look all right so let's go back to the gradient once we have this activated when you click anywhere in the canvas and you move you realize that the gradient kind of follows you up uh, it's, it's another way of trying to find an angle for the gradient to sit okay so this is okay yep. and let's try one more thing let's reduce the gradient effect a little so let's reduce the opacity it should be too outstanding this is okay so i feel this is much better and then we are going to duplicate this particular one here let's take it up okay i think this is okay ctrl j to duplicate and then we move over to edit transform flip to vertical all right so let's take it down you we'll see in a minute what we are trying to do so let's take it up cool change the color from this to a darker version like so okay so let's take this back here apply layer mask reduce the opacity and activate the brush to reduce the size open square bracket and then paint so let's increase the opacity to 100 click press and hold on shift and then just paint so it cleans in a particular direction it doesn't move away so let's reduce the opacity this time okay so this is cool all right so this is it don't worry about this we'll fix this and then come over here increase the opacity i don't like to see this at all so this is cool so basically what we are trying we tried doing was to try and give it a reflection kind of uh, give the sweet and bent some reflection so let's go back so we can have a look at it so it looks like the text was actually sitting on the platform all right so let's select all of this all of that put it in the group call it no, this is supposed to be in there as well then call it a um, title or something Right, so we can now take this a bit up so it moves away from this now with this done all we need to do is to add the logo add some other information and maybe scatter the lab around so let's scatter the lab around first so we are going to drop this all right so let's see let's drop it here take it somewhere Then we'll try and scatter it around a little bit so i'll make the elements available okay all right so now we have it scattered around the next thing we're going to do is to add the logo which will be quick and easy. all right so basically with this particular tutorial what you have to learn how to do is to try and get the concept of minimal do something simple not anything giddy giddy not anything too complicated Let's work around the title, love, sweet, sweet and bent. So the hats and some fire to represent the bent. We are good to go. The rest is to just add the typo here, which I'll mention very soon. So we just added the text and this is it. What you have to keep in mind is that you have to keep it simple. You don't want to have too many texts or font styles around. So we have this, which works for the title we repeated it for the date which is the most important date and time the venue follows and then we repeated the same text or the font style or the font type for the information down here for this 
made it bold, so we are paying respect to rhythm, which is the rhythm you find here in the space. And we are paying respect to hierarchy, placing emphasis on something, and then we follow suit. So these are some few basic principles we applied here. And guess what? Flyer is done. That's it. Your vows day flyer is done. It's simple. You can use it for your basic events, uh, for church events. It can work for hotel. If it was uh, a pub, we'll probably have some lady down here. We'll do something around that. So let's keep this and work on it. I'd like to hear from you down there in the comment section. Happy Vows Day in advance and once again, Happy New Year. Okay, so there we go. This brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. If it was, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel. And if you have any question, kindly leave that in the comment section and I'll respond. Have a good time.